We've seen your comments asking which EcoFlow solar generator is right for powering your gear. So let's break it down together in three simple steps. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which battery and solar panels are best for you. Without further ado, let's get started. We are right now in the kitchen. In front of me, I have different types of home appliances that most of you will have at home. A toaster, a microwave, a kettle, an electric juicer, and a coffee machine. So the first step is you need to calculate how much power you're going to need. Usually, you can find the wattage requirements labeled on the appliance. For example, this microwave uses 1200 watts, as you can see on this label. The kettle uses up to 2000 watts. And I've created this table here for you to follow up with the video. The electric user requires 300 watts and the coffee machine 1100 watts. My smartphone 13 watts and my laptop 100 watts. If your appliance's power requirements are in volts or amps, you can calculate its running watts with this equation. Volts times amps is equal to watts. For example, if your toaster says 120 volts and 10 amps, it uses a total of 1200 watts. In front of me, I have the Delta 2 Max, which supports 2400 watts AC output. I also have the River 2 Pro, which supports 800 watts AC output. Now, let's see what we can do. If we add, for example, the 800 watts of the toaster and the 1100 watts of the coffee machine, we have a total of 1900 watts. For the Delta 2 Max, in this case, as long as the wattage sum of our appliances doesn't surpass the 24 400 watts that this generator can provide, it is safe to go with. The same goes for the River 2 Pro with its 800 watts. If we add the laptop's 100 watts, my smartphone's 12.7 watts and the electric juicers, that makes a total of 512.7 watts, which means we could use the River 2 Pro to power them. Now, if you want to run some power hungry loads simultaneously, you should consider buying a generator with more output Wattage like the Delta Pro, which has 3.6 kilowatts AC output, or even a Delta Pro Ultra with an output of 7.2 kilowatt. Oh, and one more very important thing. There are appliances that require a higher wattage to turn on than to operate. This is commonly referred as starting watts. For example, the microwave has a 700 rated or running watts and 1200 starting watts. Make sure that the starting watts is within the maximum AC output of the generator. The River 2 Pro with its 800 watts wouldn't be a good fit for the kettle, for example. EcoFlow battery capacities can range from small 768 watt hours batteries like the River 2 Pro to larger 6 kilowatt hours batteries like the Delta Pro Ultra. So how to find out how much storage capacity you need? Simple. Now that you know the wattage requirements of the devices and the appliances you want to power, just multiply them by the amount of time you want to be able to be running them. Watts times time equals watt hours. For example, running a 300 watt laptop for six hours would require a battery with a minimum power output of 300 watts and a storage capacity of 1800 watt hours. A quick tip here, if possible, select batteries that reach at least double the storage capacity you need so that you can keep them from discharging below 50% capacity for the health of the battery. Another cool option for you is the possibility of expanding your maximum capacities by using extra batteries. For example, Delta 2, when connected to one Delta 2 extra battery, can give you a total capacity of 2 kilowatt hours. The Delta 2 Max connected to two extra batteries gives you up to 6 kilowatt hours. And the Delta Pro connected to two extra batteries will give you 10.8 kilowatt hours capacity. Please note here that extra batteries increase storage capacity but don't increase the power output. This means that if a Delta Pro output is 3.6 kilowatts, connecting extra batteries will give you more storage, which means more hours of usage, but not a higher output to run more appliances simultaneously. Now the fun part. How do we charge these batteries? Let's first talk about solar panels. There are many options, but essentially it will depend on the solar input specifications of your generator. For example, the Delta 2 Max supports up to 1000 watt of solar charging, which means that it can either connect two sets of 400 watt solar panels or four sets of 220 watt solar panels. EcoFlow provides solar panels ranging from 60 watts to 400 watts. If you want to know about the difference between rigid, portable and flexible panels, check out a dedicated video here. If you're building a system mainly independent from the grid, 
Opting for generators with higher solar input capacity can give you the flexibility to expand your solar array with ease. In short, the scale of your solar array should match the degree to which you intend to rely on solar energy. Besides solar power, most EcoFlow generators also support 100 to 120 volts third-party generators charging with this AC charging cable. Or you can opt for EcoFlow Dual Fuel Smart Generator to charge your batteries. Guys, I hope you find this video useful. Leave us a comment if you have any questions, we will be sure to answer them. And don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more how-to guide videos. See you in the next one.